If you're building Gradle projects in IntelliJ IDEA, you're probably not using the IDE to its full advantage. So to help you save time, here are my top 10 tips to working like a pro. First off, use IntelliJ IDEA to create new Gradle projects. From the welcome screen, select New Project to open the New Project dialog, or in the main menu, go to File, New Project. Make sure Gradle is selected, choose a project SDK, check this box to use Kotlin build scripts, and select what type of project you want. We'll choose Java and see how that affects things. Select Next, enter a project name, and select Finish. The generated project has all the expected Gradle files, including the build script, the wrapper scripts, and the settings file. In the build script, IntelliJ IDEA has applied the Java plugin and added default configuration based on our previous selection. Running tasks is easy in IntelliJ IDEA using the Gradle tool window. You access that using the shortcut Control tab then G or by selecting Gradle in the tool window bar if you have that enabled. Open tasks to see tasks organized by group. Select your chosen task to execute. In multi-project builds, tasks are organized into sub-projects. So you can run a task against a specific sub-project or against all projects by selecting the task at the root level. Another way to run tasks is to double tap Control to open the Run Anything dialog. Start typing Gradle and it gives you a list of tasks you might want to execute. Keep typing to get more specific suggestions, then select the command to execute it. By the way, you can access the same dialog from the Gradle tool window via the elephant icon. After making changes to a Gradle build script, they aren't automatically applied to IntelliJ IDEA. For example, this new task doesn't appear in the Gradle tool window. To fix that, click the Load Gradle Changes icon that appears whenever you make a build script change, or press Ctrl Shift O. Alternatively, you can set up IntelliJ IDEA to automatically load Gradle changes. From the Gradle tool window, go to Build Tool Settings, Auto Reload Settings, choose Any Changes, and hit OK. Now, whatever you do in the build script is automatically applied. And now for a slightly more advanced tip, after making changes in build source, for example, to a convention plugin, IntelliJ IDEA won't automatically apply the changes to your projects. In the Gradle tool window, select Reload All Gradle Projects for these changes to take effect. When adding dependencies to a project, rather than looking up the group name and version externally, you can do all that from IntelliJ IDEA. Navigate to the Dependencies block of the build script, hit Alt Insert and select Add Dependency. Search for dependency by name and in the results, IntelliJ IDEA suggests a dependency configuration and the latest version, both of which you can modify. Select Add to insert the dependency definition into the build script. When you start typing in a build script, IntelliJ IDEA gives you autocomplete suggestions. You can also press Control space at any time to see the same list. In groovy build scripts, in some scenarios, the suggestions aren't very helpful. For example, if I want to add the Maven central repository, I have many irrelevant suggestions. In Kotlin build scripts, this works a lot better. In any case, just hit enter to accept the code suggestion. To see what a particular build script method does, open the documentation tool window with Control Q. In theory, this should show you the Java doc from the corresponding Gradle code. In this case, the Java doc is missing since by default the Gradle wrapper doesn't include sources. To fix that, run the Gradle wrapper task passing dash dash distribution dash type all. This updates the Gradle wrapper doc properties file to reference the full Gradle distribution. Now close and reopen your IntelliJ IDEA project and the full Java doc is available to help you navigate around the build script more easily. Run tests in IntelliJ IDEA to get the full benefit of IDE test integration. Select the test task from the Gradle tool window and consult the test results for any failures. Once you've applied a fix, you can run all the tests again with Shift F10 or right click a failing test and select Run to only run that specific test. In the Gradle tool window, you can see your project's dependencies organized by dependency configuration. For example, here are the compile class path dependencies, including all transitive dependencies shown in a tree structure. If you see a star, that means this portion of the dependency tree was omitted since it was already shown elsewhere. Select it to see that other location and continue working your way up the tree. That was 10 tips to use Gradle with IntelliJ IDEA. Which tip are you going to incorporate into your development workflow? Let me know in the comments down below.